Hi, my name is Anne Dorian and I'm in the Health Studies program. My field work placement for the spring and summer was with the Saskatchewan Parks and Recreation Association, also known as SPRA. SPRA is a non-profit member-based organization. Their purpose is to promote, develop, and facilitate parks and recreation throughout the province. My fieldwork supervisor was the consultant <coughs> for youth engagement. My fieldwork placement helped me gain the knowledge and ability to apply strategic planning, program planning, and project management that was related to youth engagement programs. My special project was contributing to the 2017-2018 Take the Lead Annual Survey Evaluation Report. It was one of my learning objectives and I chose this project because it gave me an opportunity to collect data and then writing a report. Take the Lead enables youth to reach their full potential through leadership skill development. Youth get the chance to design and implement play opportunities for younger participants in their organizations. Take the Lead is a Saskatchewan born initiative that is focused on providing leadership and positive play experiences for youth and children. The annual survey is distributed from Constant Contact. There is a list of unsubscribed users that I had to cross-check on Constant Contact. SPRA taught me a valuable lesson on how important and critical it is to cross-check unsubscribed users. After the surveys are completed, they are sent to SPRA's SurveyMonkey account. The survey was open for three months. It started in April 9 and ended on June 18. The annual survey received 111 total responses. 80 of the responses were complete. The total number of complete responses collected this year was less than in 2016 and 2017. This, de this decrease could be a result of fewer leadership coach workshops being delivered because the process of updating take the lead resources. The 2017-2018 Take the Lead annual survey saw 42 youth leaders, 26 leadership coaches, and 6 trainers who completed the survey. Leadership coaches are the most persons most in tune with the program at the grassroots level. It is worth considering the leadership coaches' responses aside from the overall responses. The positive effects have been detailed in program outcomes. However, it's also important to share leadership coach testimo testimonials about the impact on Take the Lead. Youth leaders that are facilitating Take the Lead activities at school in 2017-2018 occur the most in playgrounds and outdoors which is a success because of increasing the opportunity for outdoor play, decreasing bullying in playgrounds, self-management, and providing safe and active play. We also asked leadership coaches on what they like about Take the Lead. My special project gave me the opportunity to analyze both quantitative and qualitative data. It was challenging to compare and summarize from previous years because it consisted of going back and forth to previous evaluations and SurveyMonkey. Me and my supervisor collaborated on the evaluation report and I was glad I was able to contribute. Thank you.